Hello everyone, this is Iris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play. So we're back for day two. I dropped my hat and my gloves. Those just seem kind of out of place. And the scarf. We're back to the new robe we got, as well as the stylish uh, clothing inside. Look more like a student here. Now, Professor Fig wants to talk to us, and we definitely want to oblige. So let's go meet him. We need to advance the main storyline to pick up some new spells. Alohomora, for example. We need to open those locks. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Everyone seems to fear Professor Sharp. Not me. I think men's brilliant. Revelio. Guess we could have just spammed this while inside. Wait. What is that? Have we not? If I had to pick a professor to race against, it'd be Hackett. Oh, this is new. A house chest. I have no idea what this does yet, but uh, we definitely didn't see this last time. Anyhow, wish we could run in here. There is that door we can now open downstairs by the front of the common room. Since we know how it works now. Rebellion. Huh. Surprise there's no page right in front of Ooh. Exactly. The Ravenclaw door knocker. To gain entrance to the Ravenclaw common room, one must solve a rather is stoic is uh, esoteric. Uh, riddle using logic and reasoning posed by Eagle Doorknocker. I figured there would be a page for him or for it. Wow, what is going on with the graphics? Something's wrong with the lighting here. The game is quite taxing on the system. Where are the two markers for this? Where are the question marks? Oh, there's one here. And a chest. Revelio. Well, that hat actually kind of looked like, oh, that's the other one. Kind of looked like a wizard hat. We'll consider wearing it, I guess. This one has us looking all gangster. 18 points of defense. Maybe when we end up in combat in the future. All right, let's see. Spider is eight. So we need a four. Which is whatever that is up there. Can't really tell what it looks like from this glow, but I know what shape that is. And then the bottom part, we have a 3, a 13, 16, we need a 5, which is the five-legged crab-looking-like thing. Let's see, not you, not you, you. What is this? I can't tell what that is. There we go. Open sesame. A mannequin and another smart fedora. Probably higher level now that we're higher level. Oh yeah, 19 points. So we can definitely sell it once we get a chance to revisit Hogsmeade. Revelio. I guess we should do this a bit more often. So we missed a small chest earlier. Wait, Figs is... You not only lie to me about your house. Keep going down. Lumos. I believe that is just upstairs. A room full of portraits.
There we go. We have this one tracked, so we don't have to do anything there. It most definitely does not go to gear. It goes into here. Which, as I explained, should be in the change appearance menu, which... Unless there's something more to this. Maybe we need to unlock something else first. Revelio. Sound, yep. Makes me feel like there's something here. Portrait of Sir Cadogan was allegedly friend with Merlin himself and as such became a sworn knight of the Round Table, although he is only really known to the wizarding world. He's famous for his defeat of Warren of Wine. Uh, we? And now spends his day challenging students to duels. So he's a ghost in the hall and I think the the wine is the dragon statue, which is where we heard his name previously Revelio. in the Transfiguration Courtyard. There's a lot of chests in this area, it seems. At least on the mini-map. They're all above us. Great. How do we go up? Rebellion. That's how we go up. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before Wait, I invented divination. Isn't this Naughty's mother's job? At least from what I remember it. Another one of these doors. And this board here, as well as this, teaches you what the numbers mean, but the easy way to really look at it, how to add things up, is just on the frame of the door, is it zero all the way to nine, numbered for you. Two, three, we're missing a four, which is that shape that I don't know what it is. Zero, one, missing a three, which is the three-headed dragon looking thing that thing it looks like a bird of sorts perched on this i have no idea there we go wait i was not rolling i was trying to open the door already there we go revelio this one leads farther up Griff statue. A door. Wait, to the divination class. Arthimancy classroom. This classroom is where students learn about the magical property of numbers and numer numerology. Though a great many opt instead to spend the period counting moon calves while nodding off at their desk. Another one of these doors. A lot of these. 11, missing a 6, so a lizard. 
701, missing a unicorn. So lizard here. Well, the lighting refraction right now on the graphic is going crazy. Give me a unicorn. I feel like we're owed a chest. Maybe that big chest is what we get from that door. Another one? Wow, this place is filled with these things. That's a five plus a six. We need a four. And that's a zero, isn't it? Yeah, so we need a five. A four and a five. That's a four. And that's a five. I mean, this is the classroom all about numbers, so I guess that makes sense. Our gear slots are full. Wow. Should have sold more. Wait, this is inconvenient. Extremely inconvenient. Can we not... We can destroy, uh, but obviously losing the sell value. Can we destroy the worthless cloak that we cannot sell? That does limit our exploration potential. And yeah, this classroom can only be accessed through this. What else is down the hall? Ooh. Akio. Here we go. Rebellion. That's a chest. That's two chests. Including a sneaky one. What are you what... up to now? Exploring. Did that ladder just... Wow. Could you recline yourself so I don't have to climb? Revelio. Is that Nati's mother? This is divination, isn't it? Palm Street model. A standing model of a hand is demarcated to help student in the practice of palm street. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Excellent. I believe this is Nati's mother. Invited here to teach divination. Huh. Onai, exactly. Mudua Onai. Under Professor Black's direction, it's my honor as Deputy Hest. Uh, <laughs> Headmistress, to offer your position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, we're thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intention as soon as possible. I'm guessing since she's here, she has Rebellion. accepted. We can't interact with her yet. But uh, we could see this. The semblance between yeah. mother and daughter. What part of the castle are we in? The library annex? Yeah, okay. I mean, we're missing a couple points. And a couple side quests flying off the shelves in the library. Wand handles in gold. Hold on, do they display all side quests like this? Well, there's a few more. Gobs of gobstone. It's in 
Bia Nuki is fretting over her missing gobsto. Also wand handles. Speak with Nelly Ogspire. Transfiguration courier seeming late about something. No reward details. Cash is in the castle. Two treasure map. Wow, this is packed. I guess blue uh, black flags shows side quests. This is the duel. Okay. And the ones the white flags do not have any side quests in them. Since we are in this wing, let's get ourselves a little bit of a distraction. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Perhaps just not fast travel. Revelio. Since you typically miss everything when you do that. Big hall, but no interactions. Ooh, the painting there. The dragon tail just wiggled. I feel like we've been here. This is where we did the first illumination. Yes, we definitely been here. This is the central hall. Lenora, we oh, met her here. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Armie tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Ah, oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I guess nothing a bit of Akio can't fix. Flying off the shelves. Let's check out the library for the first time. I'm going to have to use Akio to get the. Got it. Uh, that's Only one. Four more to go. We saw one earlier. Well, there's definitely plenty more to explore here in the library. Including a flu flame. Akio! Hmm. There we go. Got two there. Now, does the lock imply... Oh, straight up locked. The forbidden section of the library, perhaps. Revelio. I think we're gonna have to go upstairs. The old librarian, one of the first librarian of Hogwarts, is depicted here. Rumor is that he has no tolerance whatsoever for noisy student and was known for his li liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest needs. Revelio. 
Where are the other flying pages? Akio. Hmm, we just missed it. Rebellion. Where did it go? It can Wait, how did it just disappear? I just saw oh, there we go, there's another one right there. Akio. <sighs> Can't hit it. There we go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace fly, uh, lace wing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start over again. He's such a menace. Think he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I. I am utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew... Oh, another Weasley! He would have been expelled by now. Arboroth Smoky... Smokies again tonight for dinner. Oh, a, a dish, I guess. I'm becoming more partial to them now, though I still prefer meat pies. I need one more of her flying books. Why is it pointing down? I thought it was upstairs. Well, we saw it kind of fly around. It's it's over there in that wing. Should we just wait till it flies overhead? Rebellion. Akio. There we go. Oh, that's not one. That's actually a parchment. Where's her last book then? Rebellion. And there must be other things upstairs. I think I see it downstairs, but uh, we're already up here, and we see a little chest right here, and another one of these Lumos puzzles. Lumos. The librarian. Reading can be as much Revelio. as any spell. Why can't students see that? It is this Madam Scribner, the current librarian. Oh, there it is. Akio. That's the last book. Nailed it. Now to take them back to Cressida. Revelio. Cressida. What a name. Lumos. There you are. Come back with me. Protego. I'm sure we'll be back for the forbidden section. But for now, let's get out of here. Professor Fig's still waiting for us. Oh, where's the door? Revelio. Professor Black, might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section, and Cassetta Bloom seemed to think the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It's most disruptive, one might consider peeves tame by comparison to such antics. The librarian complaining about, uh... Ooh, that book just got summoned out of here. Stamped, and off it goes. There's likely a reason it's called the restriction. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. We're not going to blackmail a fellow student. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. So we did get a wand handle.
elven. Oh. Like a silver owl. Well, this looks nice. I'm actually tempted to uh, fast travel to Hogsmeade just to sell some of our clothes. We will be going to Professor Fig. But there's this one flame in the greenhouse that we have not grabbed. I'm sure we'll have a herbology class, so I guess we'll keep that one as it is. Revelio. Mm, that twinkle again. Wait, we're supposed to go this way. We took this route before. Doesn't mean we didn't miss anything. But we... Revelio. We've been here quite a bit. After charms and all that. What do you want? I cannot do this for all eternity. Cleave being chased again. Wait, there... Seems to be a side quest displayed right on top of us. It's literally right next to us. Treasure maps. Right outside of Charms you? class. Huh, how did we miss this from before? Oi, can you help me? Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. And that is why you're in Hufflepuff. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. I mean, that's close. Hecate's classroom is nearby. Feels like the courtyard, right? That's the the statue. That's the Transfiguration Fort courtyard. This statue. We want to pull it. Pull at the painting depicted here. Wait, this is charms class. Let's go down. We can figure this out. This is that. Now there's a painting. Oh, for a skeleton. Oh, that's another side quest, but um, we're looking for a painting now. Painting that we can Akio. Oh, that's the dragon thing looking down. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. I'm coming. And the way she's phrasing that does not seem kind. Some 
kind soul help me? Akio! Hmm. I'm not gonna blindly shoot it off, I guess. Maybe it's that. No, it's a scenic one. It's has a house. Is this the transformation? Okay, are we supposed to find this too? That door right there. Revelio. Hold on, there's a chest somewhere there's here. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. And another side quest. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? We can get quite busy here. Right, we're looking for a painting that depicts like a house. Not a castle. Revelio. Uh, this is locked. Are we supposed to find all three landmarks first before we can... Wait, the third landmark is just the falling... Dragon head, isn't it? This door... I mean, it's definitely within that purple highlighted area. And we'll definitely be prompted when we just run into it, so maybe we just do a bit of running around. Lots of paintings, but I don't think they're the ones we want. Tapestry? No, we've been here. This is the dragon bow on the bottom. We don't want to be here. I think we want to go up instead of down. This stairwell looks promising. Ronan certainly employs creative teachers. Lumos! All right, the Sphinx that we don't know. Anyways. Right up there. That's the painting. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? This is a door. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Oh, this is cool. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Authentic historian uniform. Is that a gear that we can wear? No. It belongs in the collection, I bet. Yes, it does indeed. A student of history. Quite fitting for us on the channel. Let's talk to her as well. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. These are the cabinets we've been seeing. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. 
I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys. That Interesting. But, if you manage uh, to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. I would if like anything. to complete our first side quest first before we get involved with a second and a third and Professor Fig will continue to wait. And little girl will be back. I feel like she's in Slytherin. Playing the damsel in distress. Looking for a first year. Still have not found that Sphinx. Oh. Professor Hackett is intimidating, but then she has Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. I guess he... Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might build anything interesting. He did go explore, and he did... Oh, my gear slots are full. There's nothing that's free that we can get rid of, but perhaps we can take a quick trip. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh, we don't need to interact with this. We can just use our map. I keep forgetting. Uh, we're currently... I mean, we can just go to Astronomy Tower afterward. Let's go to Hogsmeade's map. And we want to sell some of these stuff that we have. And what do we want to buy? Anything we want to buy? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? All right, we're back. Never seen such an unruly garden. I don't think we need to buy anything, but we want to sell some of our clothing here. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What are we selling though? I guess low level items that are not even rare. And even if they are legendary, if they're low level, I guess. I mean, we just sold our other scarf. I guess we can keep this one. The other scarf had higher stats. So I guess that was a bad sale. Level six, let's get rid of it. I guess worrying about the fashion. Not something we should be doing at this point. I mean, the fact they're extraordinary, there's more slots, and they are worth more money too if we want to sell them. At rank 5. I and mean, this looks great, but we don't need it. I think we got these a little bit too early on, but still. There's no point keeping on level two, and we're never wearing glasses. Let's just get rid of it. Facilitate exploration a lot more. Level 22 Fedora. Okay, we'll keep that hat. We'll keep one glove. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. And I think we can just zip right back to the castle. And actually zip right on top of the astronomy tower. 
Alrighty, we're supposed to be listening for keys. Let me pick that up real quick. Assuming going up Revelio. is the right direction. Wait, what is that? How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, that is one of the cabinets we're trying to unlock with the keys. That's it. How do we? Do we just bump into it? It's a Dalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Uh, where did it go? Revelio. Oh, to the cabinet. Okay, so we just bump into it and just go run back to the cabinet? Is that all? Yes, that is all. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? I'm supposed to slap it? No. Do we wait till- Oh, do we wait till it flies into the right position and slap it as it goes towards the lock? It does move by itself. That's the right angle, but not the right position. It goes across, we're supposed to hit it at the perfect timing? It was very difficult. Ah, oh, close. Oh, come on, that's close enough. Is this seriously how we do it? This cannot be a reflex test. Just telling me I'm getting older. And shouldn't play first person shooters anymore. Excellent. There we go. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Revelio. Just making sure we didn't miss too much. What is that? Oh, that's one of the statues we can use. Leviosa. Leviosa over. Revelio. I somehow don't think Professor Fig's gonna see us anytime soon. There's at least two more side quests that populates this area. That's fine. You can wait. I'll come back for her soon. What a big school. Revelio. Wait, oh, that's a cat. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. 
So I do hope you continue on. We got the Ravenclaw one. For so much one. effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Ravenclaw house chest. We could flu flame this. Revelio. But what fun is it to go to Hogwarts and not explore the castle as we walk around? Plus, it's super close. We might flu flame out because I think in the common room we can't really run. It slows us down quite a bit. That's a chest that we can't reach. I have not been here. Revelio. Oh, maybe we have. This looks slightly different from the other way. I guess there are many token slots. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open oh, this. Oh yeah, a Quite lot a of them. by the look of it. A lot of them. 16? Wow. That's what those chests are for. We're gonna grab this one. And we'll flew. This look close, but I think Fig's also right there. It doesn't matter. As we have no intention of actually meeting Fig right now. Revelio. We've been walking through these halls quite a bit. I still have not found that Sphinx. Wait, another key. Hold on. Revelio. That means there's a cabinet nearby. Is that something we can interact with right here? Or is it just the color of it? Uh, it's just the color of it. I right, bump into a key, but... Don't know where the cabinet is. Is it too late that she's no longer here? Revelio. Okay, perhaps this is a good sign that we just go to Figs. Let's swap over the quest back to the main one. Let's go up. Four seasons. Of all these playing.
Now, it does get dark, which is interesting. Because I thought that you up to now? the days wouldn't advance without us advancing it, but maybe that's not the case. Revelio. We have not had Fig's class. That is a wand handle, isn't it? Or perhaps not. That's if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry had charged me with arranging rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimate before term begin. And this is obviously Professor Black Revelio. writing it to Professor Fig. It's a small chest over there. How do we activate him? There we go. We slept for a day here. <laughs> or it seems. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin Silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. So it seems like we have a spell requirement here. The locket secret, a rather short questline here. And Hecate seems to be right outside, perhaps. What do we have to learn from him here? It should tell us. Incendio. So we can light a fire now. Find the secret in the restricted section. The assignment one with Professor Hackett. Uh, we still have a 16 collection of keys to gather. We need to talk to her. And there are other quests as well in the map. Let's see. That's the only one on this side of the castle, but on the other side, there's the dueling, the crossed wands. So I believe we'll end our episode here, and we'll come back and tackle the quest with Professor Hackett, as well as uh, do our other side quests here. So, until next time, bye!